Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. We used to play there all the time. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan, and other kids as well. We loved it. This time, I remember was different. We found a way in, deeper into it, like it had shifted we went inside and that's where we found the slide projector a dump is a place for lost things things that have been thrown away did you ever feel that way when you were growing up jesse what no yes but that has nothing to do with was there a slide projector at your home when you were small no. <laughs> Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? No, that's just stupid. Come on, that has nothing to do with this. Nothing. The slide projector- Let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? You know, stepping into a painting, into a hidden world, escaping and finding adventure there, away from your parents. I don't... I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. I don't know. Me and Dylan, and other kids as well. We loved it. I remember was.
I can see you're upset, Meg. Why don't you tell Uncle Mr. Bones what's wrong? I did bad on my clairvoyance test. You can't ace every test, Meg. You see, everyone has different brains. Some brains can talk to each other. We call this ESP. ESP? <laughs> Some brains can lift objects, like a baseball. Talk about a fly ball, eh, Meg? <laughs> no interruptions! So who cares if you fail your clairvoyance test? Maybe your brain can throw baseballs, or talk to dead people, or make friends blind. Once we know what your brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. And if your brains are just right, you'll get to sit in the big chair. <laughs> What if I don't want the big chair? What if I don't want the big chair? Everyone wants the big chair, Hank! That's why we're all here. Use those brains to listen for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. Things had gone differently in ordinary for us. Ordinary. There's so much coming together in this one case. A new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's that's saying something. And the boy, Dylan Faden, prime candidate six. And the sister as well, I mean, once we catch up with her. But the, the boy had so much potential. We're talking Northmore level readings here. And, and I don't want to invoke his name, but it's completely different circumstances here. It's remarkable. There was an incident. Yes. We lost a valuable member of our team, yes. Excessive force. Dylan has so much. But he's... he's just a kid. Like, I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Roberts got killed. It's an unfortunate accident. That's all. Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. We'll make this work. Wishing won't change things. Finding the projector will. There's so much coming together in this one case. Uh, a new object.
Prime candidate six. And the sister as well. I don't know once we catch up with her, but the... They studied what happened in ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. I were both prime candidates. Experiments. <laughs> <laughs> 